Hey, this tutorial is going to show you how to set your options in Word. You'll want to do this in Excel and PowerPoint as well. So let's go up to the file, or if you're in Office 2007, it's the wheel, and you're going to pull down to options. Options are here in 2007, uh, 2010. They're down over in the lower right over here in 2007. Click on options and I'll, we'll talk about a few of these. If you want to show the mini toolbar when you select something and right click on it or pull up to the top and you're able to quickly change the font and some of the other selections, make sure you put a check mark there. Um, if you like that live preview so that you can see when you do a color change before you actually select it, make sure you have a check mark here. You do need a couple gigs of RAM in order for this to work correctly, otherwise it'll really slow you down. Underneath display, um, you can check all these different things. If you want to see the tabs, the spaces, if you're a teacher, you want to see if a student's putting two spaces after a period in keyboarding class, you can go ahead and check that. Now this is user specific, so if another user comes and logs onto the computer, he or she will have to set these up for him or herself as well. Underneath proofing, a couple things that I like. First off, I like to show the readability statistics. That way it tells me what grade level um, at the end of a grammar check. So when I hit the F7 key to do the spelling or the grammar check, at the end it will flash me a screen that shows me the readability statistics as so what grade level it's on, like 5.8, and what percent of the population can read this piece of writing. I can also hide my spelling and grammar errors on this document only. For example, if I'm doing a daily oral language, I don't want the errors in the document to be with a squiggly red underline so that the kids see the errors automatically. I want them to be hidden until we're done with the lesson. I can also come in here and change my autocorrect options. If it's auto numbering and all of that drives you wild, or especially in a particular document, you can, un you can disable those autocorrect options. You can customize your dictionary here. Um, if you want CMR or your school name to not come up or to change it to the correct spelling, you can also do that. Also in the autocorrect options, um, you can add words that you commonly mistype. For me, it's stu students. I always put students. So I can add students in there so that it changes it automatically to students. Underneath save, this is where it's going to automatically save as the default location as documents. You could change it to desktop or whatever you want if you want it to save to a different location. Underneath advanced, there are a couple of things that are really crucial. The first thing is under the cut, copy, and paste. You want to make sure that insert paste picture is on anything other than in line with the text. If you have it in line with the text, you won't be able to drag and drop your graphics. They will be a piece of text and you'll have to either tab or hit the enter key to move it around because it's just like a, a character in a word, like to move a word down to the bottom of the page, you have to hit the enter key. If you want drag and drop, pick any one of these other ones. Otherwise, you'll have to right click on it every time and change it to something else on your text wrapping options. Um, another thing, um, if you want to change this to inches and how many recent documents you want um, displayed when you go to open. You can change those things in here as well. And then customizing the ribbon. You can actually customize the tabs now in your ribbon, not just the quick access toolbar. So you can put different things on the home tab, on the insert tab. You can add and delete items that you want. If you want to see all the commands, pull down here and you will see all the commands. And notice that you can add them in here. You can add custom tabs, all different kinds of things on that. And then here's your quick access toolbar and you can add things to the quick access toolbar. This isn't the easiest way. The easiest way is to right click on an item in the ribbon and add it. Hope that helped you customize Word.